the, the witness is in shock at this, ter at this time after witnessing a terrible murder. And it's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Yeah! Mr. Wellington! Yes? Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Answer the question. I... I telephone. Fair, I, I mean... Slip. Spit it out. I was searching for my phone booth. Okay, this is getting far too goddamn easy now. Considering he landed next to a phone booth. You don't have a cell phone? They're trying to open all the little layers and... Matryoshka dog? Is that how you spell that? I did not think that's how you spelled, spelled that. Wow. In other words, a Russian nesting doll. You must think you're really something special. Witness! I lost myself from there. Are you happy? Six. It's unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be a very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Aren't you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enough! Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait. Hold on a second. He lost his cell phone? Nick! That cell phone! Could it be? You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. I didn't see this coming. What should you do now? Ah, uh, question further. Mr. Wellington, is cell where's your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I have it, you see. Here it is. Oh, I see. Mm, looks like he's got his phone. I thought they just made them. I thought that just maybe this was his. Hmm. Well then, what? I think we've cleared this off issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by his search for the phone book. Uh, no. No, no, no. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it that put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? Yes, there is something. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need to, for, for the witness to search for a phone. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. Good enough, I think. Alright, let us have the proof then. Please present proof that the witness has no need to search for a phone. Public phone booth. It's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. <laughs> at the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, there's something wrong with you. No! It's, it's a phone booth. That is correct. 
All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Order! Order! We want this recording of your crime or can lay proof to you. The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? I bet this phone really is his, Nick. He was killed Dustin to get his phone back. Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. There was no reason for him to kill for it. On top of that, we still have a phone she found anyway. Hmm. He wasn't looking for something. Was he looking for something else? Was he? Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Would you can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing for those 15 minutes? I do have an idea, sir. There's only one possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned. This is your, that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, I think I shouldn't have said there. There was only one possibility. Please present to the court that one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't witness call the police right away? Near-sighted lenses were found in the mind. He was looking for his glasses. Mr. Wellington? What? Did you have... Don't do that. You almost made me have a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Ah, where? Where did you find... Ah! I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. These glasses are, in fact, yours. I'll tell you where they were. I'll tell you where they were found. His glasses were found under the victim's body. Under the victim's body? Order! Order! Now, wait a second. Hold on. I, I didn't confess in, or confirm anything. Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and searched frantically for them. He didn't realize that they were under the victim's body. And that's why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. Mr. Reid, are you... Are you educated? <sighs> Are you indicating the witness as the real murderer? Of course. This is precisely what I'm doing. Oh. <coughs> I know, right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah! This is so exciting watching you work again! Somehow my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. 